Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Anthropic Console and how we can use Anthropic Console to, you know, create prompts, test prompts and also evaluate prompts. Okay. So not everybody is a prompt engineer and prompt engineering is one of the most critical aspect when you build or develop a generative AI system or an application. Uh, you should know that how to interact with a natural language system and that's why prompt engineering is really crucial Not everybody knows how to prompt engineer, you know, and that's that's why you know a lot of a lot of these companies are building uh, Automatic prompt engineering tools where you can give your idea or a huge case or the task and it will give you or suggest you different prompt techniques and it will also create It will also create you prompts on the fly there are already prompt repositories, you know, where you can find it out sample prompts. You can go on Lang Langchain Hub, you can go on Hashtag Hub and Llama Index Prompt Hub and so on and so forth, where they where they give you or they have listed down thousands of prompts, you know, for given use cases like summarizations, RAG, etc. Now, how you can just uh, use Anthropic Console. Anthropic is a uh, AI for startup where they create cutting edge LLMs. You know some of the SOTA LLMs, state of the art LLMs. Probably uh, the company which is really which which can be rated really high in the same rank uh, with OpenAI and Open's AI's OpenAI's main competitor so far is Anthropic. Amazon has invested billions of dollars in Anthropic so far and they are doing really good. One of their model is like on one of their model Claude has different uh, model variants like Opus, Sonnet, Haiku, etc. and they are performing really good. Now Anthropic is also building uh, multiple tools uh, because they want to create a community of course gen ai community and they're also trying to you know create this umbrella for gen ai ecosystem where they are releasing anthropic console where you can you know test create evaluate prompts and you can also do a lot of other things as well now let's jump in and see how we can use anthropic console to basically create prompt now if you look at here i am on their uh, dashboard already i logged in they give you some free credits to work with so you can also you uh, use it and you can here come you know generate or create test and evaluate different types of prompts uh, in the console now when you build in this ai powered app or gen ai powered app nowadays the quality of prompts has a huge impact on the outcome there are there are hundreds of prompt engineering techniques for a given use case and it all depends how good a prompter you are and trust me this is a highly paid job as well you know in if you go to north america they are paying really good so creating high quality prompts is difficult and require deep knowledge trust me i know a lot of people who are doing research who are you know in who are pursuing their phds and they are doing research of how to jailbreak systems you can jailbreak if you understand prompts engineering you know you can understand how to you know interact with a natural language system and that's why it's important now this is a new feature if you look at here it says you start prompting with Claude so you can just go and you know it is like a you can you know it's a chatbot you can interact with it then you have a generate a prompt so this is what I'm interested in and then you have a prompt library so prompt library is something that every organization is building nowadays and a lot of startups are building tools where where they have listed down a lot of libraries that from previous case studies now if you click here on generate a prompt let's click on that and it says describe your task now here you can describe your task and you can also you know select some default task that they have written over there so if you for example if you want to do that you can also do that over there now i am more interested in let me first show you uh, how to, you can just click on here and do that so for example if you say write me an email content moderation you know translate code recommend a product and summarize the document so you can they have given this preset so you can just use these presets to to perform your task so let me just do that here so what i'm going to do is I'm going to click on summarize a document. Now, when I say summarize documents into 10 bullet points max, this is by default. You can also bring up your own here, but you know, let's try it out. You know, the default one for now. Okay. Now, or let me just do how you can also change it, guys. So you can also say organize. Let me just do it. So you can you can also write organize the document. You know, uh, into uh, 10 
10 bullet points so do not have to basically just select what they are suggesting you know, but you can also do it uh, something on your own so you can just say you know or uh, summarize document you can say organize the document so i'm going to say organize not summarize so basically just to make a bit of tweak on what they are diff what they are suggesting in the preset now here what i'm going to do next is generate prompt if you look at below it says prompt generation consumes a small number of cloud 3.5 sonnet tokens but this is still good guy this is the debatable topic if you are using llm to generate prompt so basically you are hitting an api and the cost will again go high but again this is a, this is again good if you compare this with you trying multiple prompts so you'll be hitting the endpoints numerous time so, and that's where you can ask a system and it will give you a couple of examples in only one or two calls so basically it's a trade-off i see i see this as a trade-off there are a lot of other techniques where you can compress prompt optimize prompts i have a lot of videos on those topics i have videos on llm lingua i have also shown how you can use your own natural language library to basically optimize or compress prompts please watch that video i'll give the link in description now here i'm going to click on generate prompt now once you click on generate prompt it will take a bit of time you can see it says you will be organizing a document into a concise set of bullet points and let me just continue for now so you can look at it a bigger screen you know as a layout i'm gonna say leave now you can see this is the user you will be organizing a document into a concise set of bullet points your task is to distill the main ideas and key information from the given text into no more than 10 bullet points let me give you some uh, perspective guys from my experiences for building hundreds of gen ai pocs and deploying few of those in production uh in last couple of years uh most of the people are bad you know uh when we write prompts because when oh, we overwrite prompts right i have seen this with a lot of my other colleagues and other ai engineers we always try to overwrite prompts you know uh you know redundancy and you know duplications within the same prompt template i have seen this you know in numerous projects now if you look at the keywords that these this system has suggested for example distill now distill is very machine related keyword probably a human cannot think of that word you know in the first go we'll probably say your task is to distill the main idea we'll say your task is to find out the main ideas or generate the main ideas or you know uh, extract the main ideas but that word distill is very important which is very when you see the token which is really aligned to natural language systems and i think that's where uh, these kind of systems are helpful where they will generate prompts with the right keywords with the right uh, you know instructions and i think that's where it's important so if you look at here it says from the given text into no more than 10 bullet points here is a document to be summarized and then you pass a document and i'm going to show that please follow these guidelines when creating your bullet points some instructions and present your bullet points within bullet point tags each individual uh, each individual bullet point should be on a new line and start with a dash probably for markdown and stuff additional instructions don't exceed blah 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 and that is fine now here in the document when you click on it you can also give your document basically you can give a context let me go on some news article and then try to get it something okay so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to say euro cup semi-finals and probably i'll open one of these and i'm going to take this complete I, i'll just take this content here okay and i'll put it over here and just click on run now i just took an article from you know internet from here you can see business standard or something okay and i it, it has given me uh 10 bullet points it says england and netherlands played a competitive match in the euro 2024 semi-final the game was tied one and one at half time blah 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 and it has given me all the 10 uh points that is that system thinks is really uh you know like which is which is having more values or weights assigned to it so if you, if you talk about summarization it's a, it's out of two types abstractive and extractive summarization 
and if you uh, if you have understanding of natural languages you will understand what i'm talking about it and you know it it has a lot of dependencies on unigrams ngrams so on and so forth and that's how it basically uh, looks at the weightages you know of your keywords and how repetitive the keywords are that's how summary basically works and then there then there are evals for summarizations you have uh, rules blu bilingual evaluation under study you have rules you know basically for summarization and translation task so these evaluation evaluations are also important and you should know about these evals as well now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to click on this evaluate so you have this evaluate here now if you look at this now in the evaluate you can generate test cases guys you know you can generate test case you can also import test cases if you want and you know, if you click on this generate test case you know it will generate you test cases so basically it helps you make sure that these are these outputs are fine you know if you look at here it is it created test case for and one of the example is climate change global implications and mitigation strategies blah 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 uh and you know, the earth's climate is changing at an unprecedented rate and it also gives you bullet point for this and you can find it out over here then you can you know uh, check this test cases and do that so i think this is important this is interesting guys you know you can generate test case if you click on this you can edit generation logic so if you click on this it will show you how to change this but i'm not going to change this uh, for now i mean i'm i'm okay with it we go to evaluate you know you can also add comparisons you know if you have some other model responses you can like if you have different prompts you can also have a v2 of prompts let me just click on so prompts here so you'll have this you can find it out this prompt this is the model that we have selected go to prompts here you can also set custom prompt but i'm not going to set any custom prompt you can set it if you if you want to prompt instructions for cloud model if you want to do that i'm not going to do it this is a v1 if you click on this it will be a v2 it will be a new prompt all together okay over here so this is how you can again get get back and start again right i'll just go back here and you go to evaluate and you can find it out everything over here you can also import test cases if you have your own test cases written you know you have some default test cases or preset you can bring it up over here you know for your your uh, evaluations as well now let's go to prompt okay uh, excuse me well we have run it so i'm not going to run this again and you can keep generating on test cases it will it will give you some free tokens uh, to try it out but if you over uh, overdo it it has some rate limits you cannot do uh, beyond that rate limit as well you can again rate this guy you know i'm not going to rate this here and if you click on you can say run remaining here you can also run and then when you when you ran it it will take a a moment to do that and you can again you can see some test cases that this is making sense or not okay right? that's what it does now it has version history if you have multiple prompts if i go to prompt back here uh, that's what it does i'm not going to generate again guys you know uh it will again generate see the problem is that these are these are prompt templates these are nothing that you should you know directly use it you have to you have to probably do your own evaluations and testing before you try it but at least it gives you something to start with if you don't know how to how to uh, generate prompt or test prompt or evaluate prompt you can use this system to do it i don't know why i go to uh, workbench come to workbench here and then again you can start something so this is how you guys can do it i want to do just quickly show you uh anthropic a console where you can create generate create or test and evaluate prompts different prompts and you can also use it in your code as well guys if you want you know you can hear the code snippet as well that they give you you can try it out as well uh let me know if you have your own findings with anthropic console what's your views on this feature by anthropic and if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks do let me know in the comment box happy to help You should also join our Discord community, guys. We already 500 plus in the community. We help each other. We uh, we have freelancing gigs. We have job updates. We have internship opportunities. We help each other. We have help channels for data science, data engineering, development, and Gen AI. We do a lot of hackathons. We we also do town halls, coding sessions, jamming sessions. So please join our Discord server as well. I'll give the link in description. And if you like the content. 
please hit the like icon and if you have not subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one